St. Paul's Letter to the Philippines Si Pablo, ang Papa, at ang Pilipino The Philippines, the only Christian country in Asia Home to 76 million Catholics, the Philippine Church, ever vibrant and dynamic, was blessed to be visited by the Supreme Pontiff. Uh, we call this press conference in order to officially announce the uh, itinerary in the schedule of the apostolic, the pastoral visit of Pope Francis to the Philippines on January 15th to the 19th, 2015. El amor no crece, la vida se debilita y se apaga. When you lose this capacity to dream, when you lose to love, and this energy to love is lost. The church in the Philippines is a full local church, as with St. Paul in Corinth and Ephesus, etc. So it's a real, complete, true church. And things I like about it very, very much, uh, it's very much linked into the culture. That's the fact. But we have to always remember that this culture is changing. I like, secondly, the strong lay involvement in the local church. Uh, we see it in Mindanao, particularly in the VECs, maybe here in Manila in urban areas. Maybe we see it more with the transparochial uh, movements, uh, Couples for Christ, etc. But when all is said and done, there is a strong lay involvement. Another point could be that the people truly own their faith. And what I mean by that is, they're not ashamed of it. They will make the sign of the cross when they pass a church. Uh, taxi drivers, pedicab drivers have images displayed in their vehicles. And so people own the fact that they are Christians. Dahil yung very strong yung Catholic tradition natin, at saka yung emphasis sa icons. Kasi yung pagdating ng, ng Papa, ano yun eh? Uh, iconic. In other words, yung embodiment siya kasi ng ano yung ating faith tradition no? as a people. Kasi yung mga Pilipino gusto nila yung meron silang nahihipo, meron silang nakikita, meron silang uh, very visible tsaka very tangible na signs ng presence ng Diyos. So in a way, yung papal visit was like that. Yung papal visit at tsaka yung pag-line up ng mga tao, parang position yan eh. Uh, it's a secular ano uh, equivalent ng procession no na nandoon ka sa place where yung yung sense mo ng holy ang maganda sa Santo Papa he has both eh may laman yung may ethical content yung kanyang presence even if iconic siya very strong yung emphasis kay Jesus very strong yung emphasis sa sa ethical demands ng Christianity sa society Nung uh, in kasi ng CBCP na 
darating at dadalaw ang Santo Papa sa atin no uh, uh, damang dama yung uh, excitement ng mga tao no damang dama yung uh, yung pagnanasa na makasalamuha siya but at the same time no uh, for for many of the people I spoke to uh, for them it was a moving reminder of the universal pastors concern for the marginalized no uh, dahil hindi naman siya dumalaw dito para lang magnisa sa dito sa luneta no pero ang pangunahing pakay niya ay para makasalamuha niya yung mga nasa lanta sa Tacloban no we were i think trying to invite him for the international eucharistic congress no uh, but he said no but i want to visit Tacloban as soon as possible no and so, uh, nagkaroon ng ibang pagkakahulugan yung kanyang pagdalaw because naging explicit yung kanyang pakay. No? I am coming here as the vicar of the Lord because I want to reach out to those who have been devastated by, uh, by Yolanda. No? That is a very, very powerful message. No? And uh, from those uh, powerful words of... Uh, promising and wanting to uh, sympathize, take care of, and embrace those who were affected from words naging very uh, powerful symbolic actions, no? Yung uh, nakita natin sa mismong uh, pagdalaw na niya sa atin, no? And we have uh, seen that in uh, of the, the good shepherd taking care of uh, the wounded sheep, no? in powerful images no sa UST no yung kanyang pagyakap uh, sa 12 year old na babae who ask him why does the lord allow uh, innocent children to suffer and be abused no at yung kanyang pagdalo din halimbawa sa ama ni Cristel no na yumao sa scaffolding accident sa Tacloban uh, he inserted yung pagdalo sa tatay no uh, sa kanyang schedule no it wasn't part of his itinerary, no? But through all these little actions, no, we see uh, the Good Shepherd uh, going out of his way, no, uh, to reach out to the wounded and the suffering uh, flock, no? And therefore, uh, yung repercussion yan sa atin, uh, I suppose, malalim, no? Uh, kasi uh, people have been uh, sharing uh, their experiences of their encounter with him that God has become so palpable no? that the compassion of God has become uh, so real to them through the person and the witness of uh, Pope Francis. Noon is kasi yun, di ba? Papasok na talaga ako dito noon. Itapos na narinig ko sa TV na pa-uwi na. Bigla kaming, bigla kaming pumunta doon. Alas 5 media pa lang ng umaga. Wala nga kaming kadala-dala eh. Wala nga kaming pera. Hindi kami nakabihis. Nakapantulog lang. Wala lahat. Naglakad lang kami mula San Andres hanggang, ano, hanggang Ross Boulevard. Doon ko siya na, ano, doon ko siya nakita. Diba mabilis lang yun? Malayo, pero para kasi pag lumingan siya gano'n, parang, parang nakikita niya ang lahat eh. Kaya nakita ko yung liwanag ng ano niya, ang mukha, kasi nagagano siya, no, dito muna sa isa, sa right side. Tapos gaway siya na gano'n. Pag gano'n niya, parang kitang-kita niya talaga ang tao. Kaya parang nakatutok siya sa akin. Kot sila, kaway na kaway kasi yung mga tao doon. Tapos sa totoo lang ako, pag kaway ko nga, kasi masakit talaga yung dito ko eh. Pero parang talagang may nag-ano sa akin, ano, sa balikat ko, parang gumanyan yan, no? kasi masakit talaga yung dito ko. Pag nagluluto ako, masakit yung mga dito ko. Isa yon para talagang mayroong malamig na gumanyan sa ano ko. Kahit hindi mo, at saka yung mga ano ng tao doon, kahit may susisigaw na isang sigawan, parang ang saya ba? Ang saya talaga na atmosphere. Parang ah, pati dito sa puso mo, Hindi ko pa ngayon nakikita sa silayan mo nga lang ang ano, para pa lang talaga, parang may spirit talaga na nakakaan. Kaya yung ibang in-interview, di ba, sarap, oh, sarap, sarap, o oh, sarap, 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 random. Kahit hindi mo talaga siya na, basta sinabi mo nandyan na siya, sarap, sarap ng pakiramdam. Kung gano'n ko pala ang pakiramdam, kaya pala yung ibang in-interview, sabi na, ang sarap, parang hindi mo malaman kung anong pakiramdam, basta, basta masarap lang. Yun, yun ang aking karanasan. Pati ngayon anak ko eh, nawala daw yung gutom niya, nawala daw yung ano, naging mas, ano ulit siya lumakad. Sa akin, mahalaga yun eh, kasi minsan tayong mga katoliko, marami na rin nakakalimot, di ba? Yung hindi na tayo active sa ano, parang minsan may gusto pang lapitan, minsan 
Basta parang hindi lahat ng tao nandun yung malasakit. Yan ang ano, di ba? Kaya sa atin, parang nagising uli, nagising uli ang ating pananampalataya. Ang, ang, tayo, tayo mga katolik rin sa Pilipinas. Parang naging, parang naging di ba, nagkaisa tayo, tapos walang, walang crime na nangyari, at saya-saya natin. Maganda, magandang, magandang pangyayari. Maganda ang pangyayari. Pumunta po kami sa Rojas Boulevard. Tapos, nung pauwi na po siya, dumaan na po isa sa kanya niya na mabilis. Doon ko po siya nakita. Pero po hindi pa harapan. Pero anong pakiramdam nung nakita mo siya? Masaya po. Masaya po ako kasi po nakita ko po siya. Thank you po kasi po na bless niya po ako. Tsaka yung mga iba pa po. When I was able to see him personally sa Manila Cathedral, that was the first, and then dun sa Luneta, parang, um, it was not the Pope really, but it was really the experience of um, having the presence of Jesus in your midst that really touched me. Um, parang here is a man who is very genuine, who is very authentic, very humble. Na you can really see in him the presence of ano, Jesus. Na kumaga para sa akin, parang ang impact nun, parang wow, um, Pope na siya. Pero ako, parang simpleng tao lang ako. Pero siya parang may, kumbaga parang totoong-totoo. He's very humble. Parang yung example niya, nakaka-edify. Malaki yung impact niya para sa akin. Especially kasi um, when I heard his um, testimony, his homily dun sa Tacloban. Kasi um, I myself is also a victim of ano, Typhoon Yolanda. Um, I lost my parents through ano, the typhoon. And his very words there, na, parang, I cannot say anything, anything profound that will really comfort you. But um, what he just advised us, um, the people, parang was to look at Jesus on the cross. Na parang in, all, in everything, in all trials, Parang should you find yourself in pain, in deep conf confusion, such as tung tragedy nga dun sa Tacloban, parang you just look at Jesus on the cross and there you would really see that our God, He is very, very true, He is very present, He is very much one with us in our sufferings, in our pain, in our confusion, in everything. Uh, parang I was just watching him on TV, pero I was really brought into tears during that moment. Na parang a very simple message, and yet uh, he was able to convey convey a very ano powerful ano message of hope. Na despite of the trials, despite of yung hirap, yung sakit, yung pain, ng pagkawala ng mga mahal mo sa buhay, parang nabibigyan ka ng pag-asa to go on with with life. Na Ramdam na ramdam mo na mahal na mahal ka ng Diyos na even before na experience mo tong mga trials na to sa buhay mo He has already been there and he is constantly suffering with you he is one with you in all this So itong Santo Papa na to uh, is very interesting kasi he crosses all faith traditions eh. Meron siyang universal na character na that appeals, no? Whatever, pati mga Muslim, no? Ano man ang faith tradition mo. So that's, it's, it's extraordinary that we have a folk like this. And I think yung mga Pilipino naman, sa tingin ko, uh, we needed that day. Eh. Kasi I think sa, gen, meron general breakdown ng values, general breakdown ng uh, uh, conscience, at saka social responsibility towards the poor kasi ang dami dami po natin. Very timely yung message ng Santo Papa yeah, na mag-appeal sa social conscience na at the heart of our faith is compassion and mercy. In other words, you don't lose the poor no? at the center of your vision. Dapat very strong at very intentional yung intervention. Dahil yun ang imperatives ng faith natin, mercy and compassion.
At so it's important to see to it ng society natin ganun din. Uh, you don't lose sight to the poor. In fact, you need to put them at the center of your vision. Whatever else we do as a country, faith imperative yun eh. And I think magandang visit ni Santo Papa na we were all reminded, no, as a society. Uh, at the heart of our faith should be mercy and justice and compassion. Pope Francis, if you analyze his speeches, uh, about 50% of it has to do with some dimension of the poor. So I think that uh, uh, aspect really got emphasized. In fact, when he was flying to the Philippines from Sri Lanka, a certain journalist by the name of Pia, uh, a Filipina, asked him what was going to be the center of his message, and he says, it's going to be focused on the poor. I think another uh, very fine effect of Pope Francis's visit was he called us to genuinely live our faith, genuinely put it into practice. Another thing, I think uh, people were genuinely touched by Pope Francis. They saw him as a caring, loving, merciful, compassionate father, a genuine pastoral care that he exuded, his way of doing things. He was just genuinely concerned, if we could say, with the sheep. And I think that was reciprocated by the fact that in a very popular way, uh, uh, Pope Francis was called then Lolo Kiko. The people genuinely appreciated that, touched by him and his loving, caring, genuine, heartfelt, pastoral approach. Pope Francis looked with loving eyes and a caring heart at the people. And I don't think it's an exaggeration to say he saw Christ in the people and the people saw Christ in him. Very, very sincerely, not pietistic, not over-spiritualized, but it was a genuine interpersonal communication. And then Pope Francis also always kept faithful to one of his core themes, and that is you could see that he enjoyed this work he was doing. It was a work of evangelization. And uh, someone made a comment, and I don't remember where I heard it, but I thought it was very true. They said, Ah, Pope Francis, hindi talaga maubos ang smile niya. <laughs> and that was really true, even to the fact that I think it is said that more than a million people even turned out to greet him as he was leaving and going to the airport. Kami ng way, kung saan kami makaka, 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 makikita namin na dadaan si Pope. Nakarating kami sa Pedro Hill Street. Meron doon train station. Eh, <laughs> yung, kasing yung train, yung mga tao kasi nagtatakbuhan na eh. Lumuulan, tsaka nagtatakbuhan, dadaan na si Pope. Nagtatakbuhan na sila. So nakisabay na kami, tumakbun na rin kami. Pagdating doon sa release ng train, uh, paano na yung trend? Yung oh, andar na. Pinapatigil na nga yung mga tao, so tumigil na. Pero oh, sabi ko doon sa anak ko, halika na, hinila ko na siya. Takbo kami, sabi ng polis. <laughs> Ginaganya kami ng polis. Pinapatigil. Pero yung gandina, halika na. Pag, pag tarawid dami ng disyempre, mahirap tumawid sa dahil yung realist, di ba? Ano? Mahirap tumawid yun, tumakbo. Sabi, sabi ng anak ko, Mami, yuko, kasi nakababa na yung barrier, yung wooden barrier ng, ano, ng istasyon. Mami, yuko, sabay dive namin ganun doon sa ilalim. <laughs> hindi ko tayo, tayo akalain mga kami makatakbo na ganun kabilis. At saka nakatawid na mga kasi, at Kasi kung pinabayaan pa namin nakatawid yung, ano, yung trend, hindi na namin makikita. Kasi few minutes na ilang minutes na lang eh. Ay, bless na bless ang mukha niya. Para siyang saint talaga, saint na. Parang kahit na malayo ka, hindi mo siya nalapitan, parang ang feeling mo na talagang truly blessed ka niya. Ito, tuwan-tuwan kami nga. Pagdating niya doon sa airport, eh, ano kami sa 
magdamag kami sa PB, nanonood mula sa pag ano niya sa eroplano, pagbaba hanggang sa katapos ng gabi doon sa Lunita. Pa, nag, ano, nanonood kami tapos nag, ano ako, nagpapasalamat ako sa kanya nga ano, pumunta siya dito sa bansa namin nga, tinignan niya yung na, ano, ng salata ng bagyo tapos yung nagsasalita na siya doon sa Lunita. Eh, na, iyak, naiyak ako sa mga salita niya, sabi ko, parang ang Panginoon na siguro ito nga nadating sa amin dito. Siya yung, nandun ako, na, na, nakita ko talaga sa kanya na naramdaman niya kung ano ang hirap ng mga, kung baga sa mga anak niya na nakaranas ng kahirapan yung kahit bagyo man siya na dumating sila dito, parang hindi niya naramdaman yung takot. At talagang linusob niya yung malakas na hangin, tapos malakas ang ulan na nandun yung ramdam ko talaga yung parang sinaluba niya yung ano yung kahirapan ng mga tao sa akin siguro ang gusto rin yung maging mensahe sa atin ay yung maging matatag tayo at maging magkaisa-isa tayo at na tayo naging hirap magkasama-sama pa rin tayo na maging katoliko at sana yung ating pananampalatay sa kanya ay huwag na huwag na at magkasama-sama tayo yung ang Panginoon ay parang bumaba sa atin sapagkat Buhutang eh ang Pilipinas kahit naghihirap ay eh, dumating siya rito at binigyan niya ng atensyon ng Pilipinas. Yung ating tema na compassion and mercy, uh, uh, I have seen that in, in the Holy Father. No? Uh, through His care for individuals. No? Kasi as the rock star uh, Holy Father, uh, He could just address naman the mammoth crowds. Eh. Pero... Uh, to see him going out of his way, no, uh, to visit yung mga mga uh, batang lansangan, mga mga uh, batang ampunin, mga yung mga nasa lanta, yung uh, magulang na tatay ni Cristel, no. Uh, for me, that is a very powerful message that the individual person is important. Every Every human being is important. Uh, because we can get lost uh, with our economic uh, theories, our political uh, plans uh, for our people, and neglect and neglect the poor. Uh, er sabi niya, the way we take care of the poor will be uh, the gauge uh, by which uh, we will be judged. No? And therefore, yung personal attention niya to every individual. For me, uh, as a Christian and as, a, as an ordained priest, is very challenging but also very refreshing to see the Holy Father, the Vicar of the Lord, uh, uh, manifesting God's compassion and mercy for every individual person. I think it became parang a jump start or yung nag-trigger ng sort of revival para sa uh, faith ng Filipino Catholics. Parang it drove me to discover my faith more. And also the coming of the it uh, means that the church is really getting closer to the people. Na feel ko na mahalaga ako. I'm seeing Catholic as just mere religion. For me now, it's more personal. Jesus himself kasi um, na ang tumatak talaga sa akin personally uh, Pope Francis is not uh, showing things that are really new those are actually things that Christ himself did and parang ano lang siya, refreshing nga lang siya talaga for me makita na isang tao ginagawa siya still it's still doable in this my presence should make a difference iba kasi when you meet him the, his presence itself it can create something, it can steer something sa isang tao. It inspired me to, to have that kind of presence. Nung nakita ko siya, nakikita mo yung nagkatawang tao si Cristo sa kanya. Parang it's really Jesus Christ who came down and teach us. So, Nalagdaman ko din na yung mahal ako ng Panginoon. Mahal tayo ng Panginoon. Very loud din yung challenge niya, yung call niya to go to the least for brothers and sisters, yung challenge niya na be with the poor, yung not just work with the poor, kundi be with them, experience their life. The challenge dun is dapat isa buhay mo lahat. For, for those people na maramdaman nila si Kristo, say, 
we will become the witness of of our mission. We will become the witness of our mission, Christ, para maramdaman nila. Si Kristo is buhay na mahal sila ng Panginoon. For me, parang sumabog yung kabanalan. It's like an impact of holiness. And the Philippines being uh, mostly Catholic uh, country, it, it meant something for the evangelization of the world. Uh, particularly the evangelization of Asia. And Asia being the biggest continent in the world, it has a role to play. Especially now that the Philippines has, has been impacted by the Pope. So, ano siya? it revived the, the faith of the Catholics. I like what he said when he said about dreaming. Kasi uh, in a country which is third world, parang andali lang mag-give up ng hope. And for me, in my own family, na-revive yung mga dreams namin nung bago pa kami mag-asawa, na bago pa kaming kasal. Nung sinabi niya, to dream, because if you lose the capacity to dream, you also lose the capacity to, to love. And therefore, na-equate niya yung dreaming sa... Also, na-connect niya yung dreaming dun sa loving. And ang dating sa pamilya ko, na-excite na naman kami magplano. I've been married for eight years and ni-review namin lahat ng mga gusto namin mangyari sa pamilya namin, saan mag-aaral mga anak namin, uh, and all these things. So it gave us uh, also on a practical sense, practical level, uh, great encouragement to work harder to, and to care for our children even more. Couples for Christ, um, Charism, one of its gifts talaga is to go on missions kasi we're in uh, 127 countries and territories globally. And it comes from a Filipino, small Filipino group <laughs> now with 16 couples starting it and having that missionary, missionary zeal. Nararamdaman namin pag sinabi ni Pope Francis na missionary, we take it also in a very little literal sense that uh, we go out to Africa, we go out to uh, the Agentes areas in, in Asia to, to bring the Word of God by means of the gift of God through the expression of Couples for Christ. So yun yung impact sa amin na na-affirm yung pagiging missionary disciple uh, namin. And in connection to, to St. Paul, who's the greatest missionary that has ever lived in the first theologian to really put uh, Ano talaga to really explain the mystery of, of Christ. Nakikita kay ano, nakikita sa galaw ni Pope Francis. Lahat ng sinasabi ni, ni Paul, yung giftedness ni, yung charism ni Pope Francis. Kitang-kita yung, yung prophetic uh, approach niya is very strong. So yung sa amin sa CFC, especially that we are charismatic in nature also. So very close sa amin yung nasa Corinthians na, na gifts of the Holy Spirit. Uh, ano talaga siya affirmed and uh, mas nagkaroon ng uh, context in the bigger church. Yung pastoral letters naman ni uh, San Pablo no uh, were not addressed to the universal church no but uh, were addressed to uh, concrete uh, communities uh, dealing with concrete problems no halimbawa sa uh, 1 Corinthians no uh, pinagalitan nga niya yung uh, community sa Corinth. Sabi niya, uh, this is not the Eucharist uh, that uh, we are celebrating because there is division amongst you. No? Uh, the, the rich uh, eat and while the poorer Christians uh, uh, are marginalized and go hungry. No? Uh, so Paul addressed a particular pastoral issues that divided uh, the local community. Similarly, uh, Pope Francis uh, has uh, visited the Philippines because of our present uh, issue of uh, trying to move on, rebuild after Yolanda, but also uh, because of uh, corruption that is also weighing us down. No? So, while we are so used to uh, the gentleness of Pope Francis, no? We also saw another side of him, no? Sa kanyang uh, talumpati sa Malacanang, no? He castigated, in a way, no? Uh, corrupt politicians uh, and challenged us, no? Sabi niya, now more than ever, we need men and women or politicians of integrity. And then he challenged our people na we need to shun uh, 
anything, structures that perpetuate poverty, injustice, ignorance, so that living out the Christian faith uh, cannot simply be reduced to uh, sacramental worship, uh, singing songs of praise, and then gathering in mammoth assemblies uh, for the Eucharist. But for Pope Francis, no, uh, being Christian has repercussions as we go back into the world, uh, into society. We need to transform the, the structures of uh, Philippine society and uh, combat uh, corruption, uh, ignorance, and, and poverty. Uh, pope Francis is a pope of Vatican II, and he is a pope of John, uh, Paul VI and John XXIII, uh, etc. Uh, we have to remember uh, last April, he canonized John the 23rd and John Paul the second and then last October on Mission Sunday He beatified Paul the sixth three popes that were at Vatican II. So he's very much in line with Vatican II and the heart of Vatican II's ecclesiology is drawn from Paul all sense you know of the mysterion this is god's loving plan and i think francis pope francis is very much in that mentality if you would look at lumen gentium the underlying themes there are pauline chapter one of lumen gentium the mystery of the church the last chapter the uh, Mary, Mother of God, in the mystery of Christ and the Church. So it's very, very Pauline, and Pope Francis certainly follows that. Another thing uh, which I think would link it to Pauline theology, uh, the need to put our faith into practice, the need to live it, the need to show compassion to our neighbor, and uh, Pope Francis emphasized that as believing Christians, the efforts to work for social justice, to eliminate corruption. You see, all of this then really fits with the Pauline idea of the church as the body of Christ. And we find that so explicitly stated in chapter 12 of 1 Corinthians and also in chapter 12 of uh, Romans. So uh, indeed the body of Christ image which comes to us from Paul was very much in evidence during the visit of Pope Francis. Do you love me? Then thank you very much. I read the, the word of Jesus. <laughs> Said the Lord, do you love me than my sheep? Sana yung impact ng kanyang pagdalaw sa kabataan is a greater commitment to witness to the Christian faith. No? That hindi corny maging Christiano. No? With Pope Francis, naging cool uli maging Christiano. Hindi archaic ang simbahan at mga turo ng simbahan dahil para sa mga kabataan, iba mga kabataan na napaka-old-fashioned ng uh, mga uh, teachings ng simbahan, mga position ng simbahan about sexual ethics, about so many other issues. No? But with our uh, present Pope who's able to address people where they are, uh, show compassion and yet uh, be firm about his uh, doctrinal affirmations. Hopefully, he will inspire uh, people, not only the youth, uh, to live out their faith with the same zeal, with the same joy, with the same uh, commitment. No? Uh, hindi lang sa very religious ang mga Pilipino. I think there is a very deep longing for a religious figure that authentically symbolizes what the faith is about. At itong Santo Papa na to, ganun, he, talagang he is, he, ano, he icon siya na what it really means to take our faith seriously. 
the love of Christ impel us. In today's feast reading, St. Paul tells us that the love we are called to proclaim is a reconciling love flowing from the heart of the crucified Savior. We are called to be ambassadors for Christ. Ours is a ministry of reconciliation. We proclaim the good news of good, infinite love, mercy, and compassion. We proclaim the joy of the gospel. Thank you.